Well, hello, my big kids and my little chicken nuggets. Welcome back to another edition of Mr. B's Art Room, where today I'm going to teach you how to draw something called a parabolic curve. No, Steve, not a parachute curve. It's called a parabolic curve. Everybody say parabolic curve. Okay, a parabolic curve is a curve made up of straight lines. I've drawn one for you, and this is what it looks like. You can see there are a bunch of straight lines put together and it creates this nice curve right here. That's called a parabolic curve, not a parachute curve. All right, well, in order to make a parabolic curve, you're gonna need a few things. First off, if you'd like to make it a little bit easier, you can download and print my templates. They're at the bottom of this video in the description. You can click the link and get a template. There are several templates. There's three actually. This is the first one we'll be using. It's shaped like a letter L. So you can do that. You don't need that. You can get regular paper. I'll show you in the video how to do it without the template. You're also going to need a straight edge. Now a straight edge we usually use at school a ruler. If you have a ruler, great, use it. If you don't, there are several things you can find. One thing you can find or use is a book. Use a straight edge of a book. You can trace along that line um, to make a straight line for the project today. Another thing that I thought of, you can take a piece of cardboard. This is just a box and you can see along the bottom edge I've cut. Now obviously I'm not going to trace that because that's not straight. The box came from a factory that has a nice straight factory edge. I'll use this in one of my videos today, uh, but primarily I'm going to use the ruler. So you need paper or the template. You need a ruler or a straight edge of some kind, and you need something to draw with. Now, the best thing in my experience is a pencil or something that has a sharp tip, like a ballpoint pen. This is a colored pencil. Use something that's sharp and thin so you can make nice, straight, thin lines. All right, so get those materials. Let's have some fun. Real quick, little chicken nuggets. This is really a project intended for my big kids, so you can try it, but if you need some help, don't hesitate to ask an adult to help you, or go ahead and skip this video and go on to another one of mine. To begin, we need to create the form, which is going to be an L shape. So I'm going to come down with a line here and across here. You can freehand this if you'd like. I think it's nice to use the ruler, so I'm going to use the ruler to do this. Now, if you're not used to using a ruler, Something you want to do is make sure you hold it steady with your hand so it doesn't slide. So I'm going to make a vertical line coming down, turn the ruler, and make match it up with the, the bottom where I stopped on that line, and make a horizontal line going this way. So you can see I've created an L shape. Now, the next thing I need to do is create evenly spaced dots along this line going up and along this line going sideways. You can measure that if you'd like. Today I'm actually just going to guess. So I'm going to skip a little bit of space and put that dot. Skip a little space, put that dot. Skip, skip some space, skip some space, skip some space, and skip some space. So they're pretty evenly spaced out. Now I'm going to count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven dots. I need to put an equal amount on this side. So I need seven dots going this way, evenly spaced as well. So seven of these, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I have seven dots across the bottom, seven dots going across the top. Now to make the curve, I'm going to be using straight lines but I need to match up the opposites from this vertical line and this horizontal line. Opposite being the one that's farthest away from the corner is going to match up with the one that is closest to the corner on the vertical line. Or the one that's closest on the horizontal line matching up with the one that is farthest away from the corner on the vertical line. If you match them up closest to closest, it won't work. So it's got to be the opposite. So I'm going to start on the bottom farthest away. 
so this dot, I will then match it up with that lowest or closest to the corner. So I put the ruler edge on that dot and line up the ruler edge on this dot, hold it steady, and connect that line. So you can see I've gone from the farthest away from the corner to the closest away to the corner. Then I'll go into the next dot. So this one is now the farthest away, the next farthest from the corner, and then I'll go to the next closest. So going in one and going up one. So here we go, connecting that line to that one. There we go. So that so now this dot is the third in from the farthest, and I'm gonna go the third up, one, two, three. So connect that line and this line. Okay, then come into this line or dot and connect to that dot. Matching up that ruler, hold it steady, and connect the dots. Go to the next line or dot, excuse me, and this dot up here, and match that ruler up, hold it steady, and connect. Again, I only have one, two dots left, and I have two dots, just the same amount. So matching up the next dot with the next dot, hold it steady, and finally, the last dot with that last dot and hold it steady and you can see there's my nice curve created with those straight lines. Okay great now that you've done that I'm gonna show you another one that's a little bit more challenging you're going to need the template that looks like a plus a crisscross now, you don't have to have the template again. I'm gonna do it in the video without the template. So you can download that template and print it or just follow the video and I'll show you how to make your own template. This is what it's going to look like when we're done. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing this time using a different grid. It's gonna be a, a plus. Instead of the L shape, it's gonna look like a, a cross or a plus. So I'm gonna start in the middle, holding it steady, create a vertical line. Now I'm going to cut right through the center of it with a horizontal line. So you can see I've got this cross or plus. Now my goal is that I'll have a curve in this corner and one in this corner and this corner and this corner. It'll resemble somewhat of a star shape when I'm finished. I will make these a little bit less uh, the dots, not as, not as frequent of dots, just to make this go a little quicker. You can add more dots for a sharper, a clean, crisper curve, or just uh, less dots like this. So I'm going to do five dots. One, two, three, four, five on the top, and one, two, three, four, Five on the side. Now you can see this is exactly what I made on the other curve or on the other L. There's my L shape. I'm just going to continue it down this way with one, two, three, four, five, and then this way as well. One, two, three, four, five. Now what I need to do is exactly what I did on the other one, starting at the farthest out and going to the lowest. I'm only focusing on this L right here, this corner. Ignore these other three for now. Match these up and connect. That's one. The next one. Match it up and connect. The next one. Match it up and connect. The next one, match it up and connect. And this last one is the fifth one, match them up and connect. You can see I have that curve. Now I wanna continue and I'm gonna make a curve in this corner. So I'm now focusing only on this corner, ignoring this, these three here. So it's the exact same, start at the farthest out and go to the lowest point. So I match that up with my ruler, 
connect the dots. Go to the second dot in and the second dot up. Go to the third dot and the third dot there. Go to the fourth dot and match it up with that dot up top. And then the last two dots. I'll go here and up there. You can see I've got a double curve and the top of what's going to look like some kind of a star shape. I'll continue. This time I'm going to speed up the video so you don't need to watch the entire thing. But you can see what I'm doing is the exact same. I'm going to then focus on this bottom corner and then finally that bottom corner and I should end up with a complete star shape. Here we go. Okay, you did that one too. Great. Well, if you want to try a third one that's a little tricky, this is the template for you. It's a square with a bunch of lines around it. I don't believe I show you this in the next video, but you can how to make one of these, but just draw a square or a rectangle and make sure you have an equal number of dots all the way around. So if you do 10 dots here, you need to do 10 here, 10 up this line and 10 across the top as well. When you're finished, it's going to look something like this. All right, let's get started. So the process to make this parabolic curve is, is using the same corner, just like we did in the other videos. So I go here and here, making this corner. Then I do this corner. And I'm going to also do this corner and this corner. The difference is the curves are going to start to overlap, and it should make a circle when we're finished. So I'll speed up the video so you don't need to watch the whole process in regular motion. I'll go fast here so you can watch exactly what goes on. But essentially I'm just making one corner, another corner, another corner, and a, f a fourth corner. So I do it four times. Alright, here we go. All right, thanks for joining me today. We had a lot of fun. You guys did a great job. Something fun to do is to add color to these. You can see I've done that on this curve here, and I decided to go with a checkerboard. So I alternated blue, red, blue, red across the design, and it made this neat checkerboard pattern. So that would be really neat with the star-shaped one or that square one as well. So thanks for doing this. Keep going with them, have some fun, share them with me, definitely, don't forget to do that. Share them with me on my email. You can send that to me at bbojanowski at rhmail.org. I'd love to see them. Also, share any other drawings with me, I'd love to see those too. Now, tomorrow I'll join you guys for a different project, something that's a little bit easier and geared towards my little guys and you big kids as well. So, thanks for joining me today. Have a great day. Steve, stay out of trouble. Take care.